And because the design is so simple, we're able to do a wide variety of applications with the pump. Here you can see what we call our cart pump. There are many small operators who need something that they can lift and handle and perhaps put in the back of a truck. So we built this two inch pump. It can also go up to three inch. It can run off of a, a, a small gasoline engine, much like a lawnmower, or we can put a small electric motor on it. Uh, if, if you go to our website and go to our blog page, and uh, we'll show the website at the end of the seminar, there's a series of articles on each of the following slides, each of these modifications with some videos uh, that you'll be able to see. We also have videos on YouTube and uh, our own web page there so you can see more of the application. But this cart pump can put out about 200 gallons a minute and it's perfect for draining ditches, emptying pools or ponds, irrigating gardens, or for the very small operator who doesn't need or want a larger pump. Uh, and like all gator pumps, the beauty in our design is that there's no suction, no suction lines, there's no priming, there's no check valves. This is a true submersible. You just roll the intake into the water, and here you can see the intake is screened to keep debris out. Start it up and start enjoying a, a very efficient pumping flow. Here is our Gator Canal Pump. Uh, several farmers or operators have asked us for a design that operates similar to uh, a PTO-driven post hole digger. This pump can be lowered down into a canal, down into a ditch. It's got steel feet on it so it can rest on the bottom. Normally our pumps have two inlet eyes on the top and the bottom so they have dual intake to the impeller. Uh, some operators want a single intake on the bottom so that they can pull from the bottom. Uh, and actually the suction uh, into the inlet is so strong that it can oftentimes auger a hole out and build its own sump to rest in. Uh, this one uh, is a very uh, easy and portable one-person operation. It sits uh, uh, on its own legs when it's not in use. You back up to it, hook up the PTO, hook up the arm. And this uh, canal pump comes in three basic models, a 6-inch, an 8-inch, and a 10-inch discharge. And the 10 inch can put up to 5,200 gallons per minute uh, over the side of the canal. Again, you can see this on our website. We've had some customers who work with center pivot irrigation systems who have access to groundwater, but not necessarily well water, or they have fields next to a river or next to a canal, and they need some sort of a feed system for the center pivot irrigation system. So we modified one of our pumps. Uh, we usually take an eight inch pump, put float pontoons on it so that it rests just below the surface of the water. And uh, you know the goal being that you don't want to pull too much uh, debris. We do screen the intake so that it minimizes anything that might clog the pivot sprinkler system. And uh, this particular pump is now in a cotton field in uh, eastern Texas, and it's operating a 2,000-foot Ranky pivot sprinkler system with a 25 PSI working pressure. Uh, it, very flexible design, very easy way to get pump pressure to the system when a well uh, is not available. And in certain parts of the country or parts of the world, as water levels drop, certain water tables drop, certain pumps um, aren't as efficient anymore down the well. They, they need uh, a deeper well or, or access to deeper water. This takes care of that requirement if surface water is available. As I said earlier, we often get demand for different applications. We have a full line of vertical pumps that can be powered by electric motor or by reduction gearbox uh, and driven off of a, a PTO as well, off of a tractor or off of uh, a stationary engine or a portable power cart. Here is an example of an electric vertical electric pump that's moving water behind a coffer dam. These are perfect for construction sites where you need to do a, a bypass on a river, a bypass on a canal, drain it out, get inside, rework it, rebuild it 
and then remove the coffer dam and allow the canal to operate correctly. The vertical design is easily mounted on barge platforms. Here's three examples of uh, floating or barge units. I'll talk specifically about the upper right in a few minutes. You can see that it's a different color. Actually, all of these are different colors. If a customer has a specific model or wants to market for a resale, uh, we can work with a variety of color schemes as well. Um, this pump on the upper right is actually part of a firefighting unit. Uh, it floats in a reservoir to provide high pressure feed to uh, high volume feed to high pressure fire nozzle units. The pump on the left is working in a lignite mine where it's pumping the, the wastewater and uh, the fluids and, uh, and contaminants in a containment pit out so that they do not spill over the side and contaminate the local watershed. I mentioned earlier that we can handle heavy solids. Uh, this is our slurry pump uh, or sludge pump. You, can, you can't see the back end. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. But what we have done is we have put a valve in the back of the discharge pipe. And so the operator can control everything from the front of the pump. You back the pump into the pit, you close the valve in the back, and what it does is bypass the discharge and begin an agitation. It, it slurries, it mixes, and it slurries and mixes off the bottom. It has an outlet in the back of the housing that will shoot water back 20, 30, maybe sometimes up to 40 feet, depending on the consistency, and start to slurry and mix and agitate the pump. And when you get the consistency, uh, thinned out, you open this valve, silver valve at the front of the discharge and the material begins to pump out. And you can set the valve uh, to any angle depending on how much agitation and how much pump you need. Uh, we build these for livestock, manure pit, uh, mine and quarry slurry that need to dredge up sediment and then pump it away. Uh, they're great for environmental cleanup and even in the oil field where you have mud pits and runoff pits that need to be slurried and pumped out into vacuum trucks or even for injection back into the hole. I mentioned earlier that these pumps can be modified. Uh, some of our pumps, or our clients, uh, have needs for a left or right discharge or even center over the top, depending on their application. These, this is a very easy uh, change that we can make to the pump design. On the bottom, you'll see what we call our ditch rider. This pump uh, is designed to get over a levee, over a bank, or down to a deep river bank that has a steep drop off. Uh, the pump just backs off, and you saw it in the video earlier. It just backs off the edge of the bank, and you just continue to push it down to the water depth that you need. It's cut in the center, spliced with a power takeoff shaft, and you get the same pumping performance. Uh, a little bit dark and subdued here in the picture, you can see uh, a power unit. Uh, we can mount engines and fuel tanks onto a separate trailer tank if the customer has a need for multiple power units or doesn't want to dedicate a specific power drive to a pump. Uh, we can modify and build a cart uh, that goes with the product. And I've said all this before uh, to let you know that relationships are important to us. We want to build something that's useful. We want to build something that does the job. We, we want you to enjoy owning our pump. I, I say this and it, I mean it sincerely. We want a relationship with you more than we want to sell you a piece of equipment. The worst thing that could ever happen was for someone to regret buying our equipment. We're proud of this pump. We're proud of our customers. We're happy to introduce you to anyone who has purchased our pump so that they can tell you firsthand uh, what type of uh, performance they have received from the Gator pump. Uh, we want a satisfied a customer and we want to stand with you through the life of your pump. Uh, and we don't care if you're at the far ends of the earth or you're right next door. Our phones are on 24 hours a day. We forward them to our cell phones at night. Uh, if you have a need, if you're in trouble, if you have a problem, 
if you have a question. We want a relationship with you where you're comfortable in calling us and we can help you. Uh, as I said earlier, we're family owned and operated for over 40 years. Our father uh, began the company along with our mother. Uh, we worked in the company as young men and now we own the company and are operating it ourselves. Uh, in this picture, and you have seen or will see some video of it, uh, there we are in Panama, both my brother and I uh, talking with farmers in a turf farm. Uh, if, we can't, if we can't figure out what your requirement is over the phone or through email correspondence, if you can send video or if you need us to come to you, we will. We will get you the right quote for the right need and build you a pump that will serve you as well as we would want if we were buying it ourselves. That's our promise to you. Uh, we're going to do the right thing by you, and we want you to know that we are committed to a long-standing, long-life relationship with you. We have dealers and distributors. Uh, they go out and perform service for us. They uh, represent our product in various parts of the country. Uh, we're working real hard now to establish some uh, dealers and distributors in other parts of the world. But not to worry, if we don't have a dealer or distributor, we will represent you direct from the factory. And uh, we will, as I said, uh, be able to perform site visits either virtually or physically uh, to make sure that you are getting the service and support that you need. At the end of this presentation, I'll cover more of the warranty and uh, in our commitment to that uh, service. Customers, uh, we said in the beginning that our traditional utility was an agricultural pump. Uh, many of our first customers uh, who bought pumps when we started back in 1977 are still operating those pumps today. Uh, we get a call every now and then for a new set of bearings or, or some replacement parts. But uh, these things stand up, and our goal is that it's just as useful a piece of equipment or implement uh, as anything else that you own that you expect to hand down through the generations in your business or to, uh, to your family or friends. Uh, our original customer, again, was the farmer. But as I said earlier, we found that there are lots of people who need a pump like this, and we have great customers in industry as well. And here's just an example of some of those. We're working in mines. We're working with uh, uh, waterfowl hunters. We're working with feedlots. We're working with the firefighting uh, industry. Uh, we're working with federal, state, and municipal entities that are responsible for uh, flood, uh, flood plains, emergency disaster response, wetland management, environmental. We work in fisheries, shrimp farms. Um, we, we have a reputation of being rugged, adaptable, and virtually maintenance-free. Uh, our maintenance manual is very short because all we need you to do is grease the bearings for every 12 hours of continuous operation. And those grease points are up at the front of the pump. You don't have to shut it down. You don't have to pull it out. And again, I said there's no suction. There's suck, there's no suction lines. There is suction in the inlet eye, but there's no suction lines, so no priming, no check valves. And you back it in the water. You start turning the shaft. You start moving the water. And all you have to do is every 12 hours of continuous operation, come out and shoot a couple of squirts of grease into some certs that keep the seals uh, free of sand and debris. And that's it. And the pump should run for you without problem for 20, 30 years. It's that simple and it's that strong. 